When it comes to breaking down a hitter's swing, there are several factors that you can take a look at. Whether that is the decisions they make on each pitch, the way their bat moves through the zone, or even just the way that their body moves to get from point A to point B, any minor change to any of those factors could lead to an improved performance. Today, we are going to be covering how teams utilize new types of data to improve hitters across the upper levels of baseball. Alright, so our first method is going to be the oldest, and that is statistically. Thanks to many brilliantly minded folk, such as Bill James, the use of statistics to analyze a player's performance has become much more common than it was in the early days. The goal of using statistics to analyze a player is to understand how a player is, or can be, performing based off of his past performances. The typical fan is adept at reading the typical stat line, whether that is counting stats like singles, doubles, and triples, or the classic slash line of average OBP and slugging. All of that filters into what we refer to today as advanced statistics or sabermetrics. Underneath that umbrella of advanced statistics, you have several subdivisions, the two main ones being actual, or stats that we've covered on the channel before, such as WOBA, Weighted Runs Created Plus, or WAR, or a predictive set of stats, such as XWOBA, Expected Batting Average, or Expected Slugging. The goal of this video isn't necessarily to tell you what these stats are or how to use them, it's more so to show you the way things are being done currently with them. If you have questions or want to learn more about any of these stats individually, check out the playlist in the description down below for more information. Actual statistics are simply a more accurate stat line, showing us how that player has performed as compared to others. Predictive stats take his batted ball metrics to estimate the result of all of that player's balls in play, to give us a line of how he should be performing. The key takeaway from utilizing actual statistics and predictive statistics is that they are useful in understanding players who are under or over performing. If you have a player's actual and predictive stats that are equal, he's getting the results we would expect him to be getting. But if they are different, it could tell us a player is due to see worse numbers in the future, if his predictive are less than his actual, or improved performance moving forward if his predictive is greater than his actual. If you are into this kind of stuff or just want to learn more about the way basic statistics are applied to the game of baseball, be sure to check out the first course in the Sabre Analytics Certification Program taught by me. I've received a ton of great feedback from everyone who has taken the course, so thank you for that. If you want to kickstart your development in this game, this course is the place for you. Check it out, link at the top of the description. So our next stop is going to be looking at players through a biomechanical lens which is a fancy word for understanding the way the player's body moves through space during the swing. In the past, this was done by people who had been around the game long enough to make a good or bad tweak based off of their memory and what they see in real time. But now, we have access to tons of cool technology to make this process more accurate and efficient. The first piece of technology used here is bat sensors. This is a little sensor players can attach to the knob of their bat to track the way their bat moves through the zone during the swing. The two big players in this field is Blast Motion and Diamond Kinetics. These sensors can tell you a lot, from the speed of the bat, the angle it is at when it makes contact, the amount of time between the start of the swing and contact, and the amount of power they've generated. It basically gives you statistical information about what each player is good or bad at, objectively. Then you can use the sensor to train to improve your deficiencies to become a better hitter, which is a lot better than the old eye test. Next, there's tech out there that tracks the way the body moves throughout the swing. With the two main players in this being K-Vest, which is made up of four sensors placed on key points of the body, and then Kinetrax, which is a video-based motion capture system. The idea with this tech is to, again, objectively, look at the way the body moves during the swing. This data can tell you the sequence that the player is firing different segments of their body at during the swing, how fast those segments are firing, and where they are in space along the way, all of which can be used to help create a better swing. In addition to this, some teams utilize a force plate in the ground that can give you how power is generated and when it is transferred. And when paired with the other biomechanical data, you can get a pretty clear idea of how each player's swing works and how you can improve it. The last way teams use technology to improve their hitters is through ball tracking tech, such as TrackMan, Jagertech, and the newly adopted Hawkeye. There's a ton you can do with this information, but the two main ways I've seen it used is first, analyzing swing decisions. For example, if a player swings at a pitch in the zone and then spits on a pitch out of the zone, those are two good decisions. The more frequently you swing at good pitches, the more frequently you can expect that player to make quality contact, which often leads to more hits. 
Another adaptation of this idea is analyzing where that player is making that hard contact. So if all of a player's hard hit balls are up and in, and all of his swings and misses or weak contact are low and away, when you get into a hitter's count, that hitter should know his damage zone. So if a pitch is outside of the area, it's better not to swing, even if that pitch is in the zone and is called a strike. This helps us optimize the damage a hitter can do at the plate. Secondly, we have the data that is collected once that ball is put in play. The two most popular being exit velocity and launch angle. Again, we've talked about these two points a lot, so I won't spend a ton of time on this idea. But utilizing exit velocity, you can analyze how frequently a player barrels the ball or hits them hard. And utilizing launch angle, you can see what kind of contact is being made, whether that is ground balls, line drives, or fly balls, and help that player adjust their approach based on the type of results they're getting from the field. So, that's the gist of the way technology is being used to improve hitters in today's game. In this video, we covered where that data comes from, plus a little bit about how it can be used. If you'd like a more specific video on any of these ideas to show how it can be applied more so to baseball, let me know down in the comments below. And with that, we will see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.